Hey Taurus, it's Suzanne here with Sunny Forest Tarot to do your second reading of the week, okay, which is more topical. It's about hidden feelings and intuition of your person, okay? So it's like taking a deeper dive. So we're going to pull three Lenormand cards, but we're not going to turn these over till the end of the reading which will confirm the reading that we just did for you. All right, so we're going to look at feelings first. The first three cards that I pull on the feeling side are what this person is showing you right now or maybe not showing you, okay, depending on what your situation is. So... This could be, you know, the mask that they're wearing with you when it comes to their feelings. All right, so we have Justice, card of Libra. So this card has been popping up a lot on this second round of readings. Um, you know, this person, it feels like this person could be breaking a commitment or they could be getting a divorce. They could be moving on from, you know, something major in their life. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, I mean, this could be ending a, a situation where there were too many involved. There were too many people involved. And... You know, when the Five of Pentacles happens, right, the Three of Cups spills over. And there might be some heartache around that. But what's left are the... Why am I doing that? Five of Pentacles is not that. <laughs> That's Five of Cups. Um, five of Pentacles is this person is, you know, feels like they might have been left out in the cold and or... They feel like they're missing something, missing someone, okay? So this might be very raw for them, meaning that, you know, if they just ended a commitment, you know, they might have some raw emotion around that. And then Six of Pentacles. So... You know, this can be, you know, this is, <clears throat> I feel like they're feeling this loss, okay? Loss. Um, you know, but they're, they're also aware enough to say, well, what am I gaining as well? So while they might have lost something, there is something to gain at the same time, and that could be where you come in. I don't feel like this person is showing you a lot of what's going on underneath the surface with them really at all you might be aware they're going through this situation and you might think that they are you know have a complete lack of interest in anything concerning you right now okay and there might be an element of truth to that you know because this could be a lot to go through so let's look at what's underneath the surface here justice Clarified by three of wands. So, you know, what is, what's truthful about this situation is this person, you know, has an awareness of what their intentions are now. Like there's no um, two of pentacles here. There's no juggling of what am I going to do? They have an awareness of what it is they want to do and it's, cutting away something, cutting away a third party, cutting away a commitment that's not working anymore, cutting away a job that isn't working anymore. Something, something is being cut away because they know what it is that, that they want. They know what their intention is. There's intention behind what they're doing. King of Swords. Yeah, 
Um, I feel like they, they cut something away because it really just did not meet their standards anymore. King of Swords has very high standards, very capable, very truthful. It's, you know, they have found their truth. They know what their intention is going forward. They have vision about what it is that they want, okay? Um, they have high standards around what they want in their life. Five of Pentacles, something's missing. The world. So that tells me that whatever's going on over here has not fully ended yet. Meaning there's, you know, we're right on the cusp of something that is getting ready to complete. But that's what feels... That's what this person feels like is missing right now is a completion of what's going on here. Remember, three of wands is just knowing the intention, but it doesn't mean that it has completed yet. So it feels like something is on the verge of being completed. And then we have ten of wands. So the fact that this person can't move forward the way that they want to yet is is a heavy burden for them okay so the vision that they have can't come to fruition which is causing a heavy burden for this person and you know it might show to you as complete disinterest in you or your life but this person is going through a lot right now six of pentacles it's like is this over? Is it not over? Meaning whatever they're cutting away. Is it a gain? Is it a loss? And then we have six of wands. So this person sees the, the gain from whatever this loss was. Okay? They see it as a victory. They might have gotten through a difficult time in their life or a divorce, or a job ending, or whatever it was, was, but they see it as a, as a victory. Like, they can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And then we end, or not end, but we, you know, we have the fool here. So this person, again, sees whatever happens over here or happened over here as a victory okay as a success and the real victory is about moving towards something new taking a risk with something new or someone new okay um, which you know obviously can be you all right so I want to take this one more step because you can see when somebody goes through something very difficult how many degrees away it takes for them to get to the core of how they're feeling. All right, seven of pentacles. So after this is completed, this person has a vision. They're asking what's next. Ten of wands, all right? This person down here, five of pentacles, feels like something is missing, could be you. That this situation over here, the world, something needs to end completely so this burden can go away. And then Eight of Pentacles, so they can make something new work. So Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. And then finally, King of Pentacles. So... They know what's next. They know what they want to do next. They know that whatever is next for them can be successful and can work. And King of Pentacles, they can finally be happy and give generously to who and what they want to give to. All right. This person, okay, you know, you might be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, or, or another Taurus, okay? 
very, very, um, very grounded energy, very realistic, looking at things from a realistic perspective. I feel like this person, you know, like if you're thinking about this person, there's, there's a high likelihood that this is a very new potential or new connection in some way because, you know, we have, we have all pentacles and wands. So, you know, it feels like there's a lot of action being taken around something practical that needs to end before we can get into the deep emotions of a connection. So it's like there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen before this person can really focus on the emotions that they have for you. All right? Which is okay. So let's see if their intuition, if we get more insight to their feelings based on what their intuition is telling them. Okay, so these first three cards represent their core intuition. So what their true intuition is telling them about the connection they have with you. All right, so let's see. All right, so we have the Page of Swords. Whoops, we don't do reversals in general readings. On my channel we have the nine of wands and then we have the fool again right here in the same row their intuition is telling them to be very very cautious and get get to know you better Again, this feels like a newer type of connection, okay? Page of Swords is, you know, can be about gaining um, new information about somebody. That's why it's called, you know, in some, you know, some readers will call it the, the spying card. You know, somebody is spying on you. They need more information about you. Nine of Wands is being cautious and suspicious, okay? They're, I feel like their intuition is telling them not to be cautious and suspicious and focus more on the feelings. But this person is coming out of something very, they've gone through something very difficult here. And, you know, their intuition is telling them, fool, to take a leap of faith. A leap of faith and trust what's in front of you and not to be cautious overly cautious and overly suspicious that you know that can really put a halt to good things that are coming by being that way by being overly cautious okay so let's look at this page of swords we've got the knight of swords this i mean wow uh, we haven't seen a single cup in this reading <coughs> this person you know just has buried deep you know buried emotions uh, you know it's like where are they like where are the feelings Wow. Nine of Wands. Clarified by Seven of Swords. Yeah, I, you know, honestly, I feel like this person's intuition is telling them to stop thinking so much and do what feels good. You know, stop spending so much time alone thinking about 
or trying to gather information on you and simply move move forward quickly towards something new that makes you feel good. Look at exactly. There's our first cups. Finally. So moving towards wish fulfillment. So you know, at the end of the day, I feel like this person absolutely sees the opportunity with you, and I see it up here too, that there can be wish fulfillment with you, but they know that they've got to take full, full, a leap of faith and trust. This person, you know, I feel like is very un untrusting right now. You know, it, it took us four layers here, which I hardly ever do, but it took us four layers just to get to the point where they're asking, okay, what's next? I know this can work. I know what makes what could make me happy and what I generously want to give to, but it's buried. This person, you know, and then by the time we get down here to their intuition, their intuition is basically saying, stop spending so much time alone. Stop being so cautious and suspicious of everybody out there. Stop trying to do research on somebody and just take a leap of faith and feel what you feel. All right, so let's look at Lenormand here. We have the anchor. We have the birds. And then we have the clouds. <laughs> Okay, um, not surprising, okay? This person feels chained and anchored to their past, like they're identifying with their past. They're identifying with whatever they're getting rid of, okay? And what they're getting rid of didn't feel good for a long time, and they feel anchored to that based on this Ten of Wands here and this world. It's like it needs to end. It needs to go away. And it just is lingering. Okay, this person with the birds, you know, I feel like there might be some gossip around this person's situation. Okay, people are talking. This person cares deeply what other people think. It could be why this person has maybe gone incognito and, you know, is so cautious and suspicious of people. And they are spending so much time alone because... People haven't been good to them during this situation. This person could be, honestly, a public figure, okay? You know, I find that anytime I get um, somebody who's out in the public a lot, you know, the emotions stay very deeply hidden. Then we have the clouds here, which, which I like in this row because... You can see, you know, you can either be on this dark side of the cloud or you can be on the light side of the cloud. And the fact that we have so many sixes here, okay, six, 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 which is about love and harmony. Hidden love and harmony is here, okay? This person knows what ultimately makes them happy, but they're very protective very very protective of i feel like of their privacy you know they might need something to simmer down before before they make any moves with you but they know that by taking a leap of faith with you it could bring their wishes into fruition they know this they it makes them happy you make them happy but it requires them, before they find their happiness, for them to take a risk. Or them to come out of the, out of the darkness. All right. This reading made me work. <laughs> this reading was, um, you know, possibly a little bit painful for you. And it was a little painful for me, too. Um, but, you know... I mean, it, this one's the feelings are really hidden. 
okay? And I feel like it can be for different reasons for a lot of you, but for some of you, you might be dealing with somebody who's in the public eye or works for the government or, you know, something like that. There's this energy of this. This is by far the most unique reading this week. Um, you know, and if you're somebody that can't hold out past all of this, I might have lost you, you know, 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. But, um, but it's interesting, you know, when something is, shows up like this. So anyway, it may not have been your reading um, for this one, but, uh, but anyway, it might have given some of you, you know, a lot of insight. I don't know. But, uh, but anyway, if you're looking for a deeper reading um, and you want a personal reading, I'm always here for you. You can just reach out. I'll respond quickly. And everything that you need is in the description box below. And we'll get you taken care of. And if not, that's perfectly okay. And I will talk to you next week. Enjoy your weekend. All right. Thanks, Taurus. Bye.